than 20-year-old pit bull ban may soon end in one Johnson County town. Just a few hours ago, Roland Park residents talked about a possible repeal. New tonight, Jenna Hancher shows us why some believe it's time to ditch the controversial ban. Kristen, it was a mixed bag tonight. There were those people who had horror stories about pit bulls, but there are other who have lived with pit bulls their entire lives and say the breed isn't that bad, and they're asking the city to reconsider its breed ban. The pit bull is considered one of the most misunderstood animals. You'll get really laid back pit bulls, and you'll get really um, high, high drive pit bulls, and you'll have a lot of in between. Brent so Tolner works with the KC Pet Project and says at any given time, pit bulls make up half of their shelter population and says city bans on dog breeds are to blame. We have people come in and fall in love with dogs all the time, and we'll get through the adoption process, and it's like, Oh, we can't send this dog home with you because it's outlawed in your individual city. Please, no comments while the speaker is up. Monday night, Roland Park asked residents to weigh in on a possible repeal of the city's pit bull ban that's been on the books for at least 20 years. Janelle Holland says she moved out of the city 11 years ago after the city asked her to get rid of her pit bull. I really think that the only thing it's really doing is it's punishing, um, you know, good owners like myself who aren't going to give up their dogs. Residents like Richard Weber disagree. I would leave it. I wouldn't. Pit bulls are pit bulls. Richard says he's been attacked by a dog 12 times during his 35 years as a mail carrier and thinks breed bans are necessary. I was attacked by two dogs at once. I had to jump on top of somebody's car to keep from getting chewed up. But those who work with pit bulls say these violent traits aren't unique to a specific breed. If you target all of your resources on dogs that, based on their behavior, are known to be aggressive, that's the most effective use of your limited resources and animal control for solving the aggressive dog problem. There are other cities across the metro that do have pit bull bans, such as uh, Overland Park and Independence. But then there are cities like Roland Park and Kansas City, Kansas, that are considering repealing those bans to something more breed neutral. Reporting live in Roland Park, Jenna Hanchard, 41 Action News.